An important weekend ahead for the UMass Old Hockey River Hawks home and home series with the University of New Hampshire ranked second in the country. First night is up at the Whittemore Center. Second night, Saturday night at the Sanka Center, a 7 o'clock start, and we hope to see people there. Joining us now, the head coach of your River Hawks, Norm Bazan. Norm, I call it an important weekend. First, I should say welcome. Is it indeed an important weekend? Well, it's a, it's a very important weekend. Every, everyone is. However, when you host the uh, second team in the country on Saturday, it's, it's even more so. We have played the University of New Hampshire once, uh, probably not the results we would have liked, at least not on the scoreboard. What do we have to do differently on the ice from, I guess, the, what happened in the first time we met? Well, it wasn't all bad. I thought it was a very good hockey game. It was 2 nothing up until uh, a minute and a half left in the game, and they scored on the power play to, uh, to make it 3 nothing. However, I thought it was a very good hockey game. I thought we could improve in a certain uh, few areas of that game. Uh, to make ourselves a, a certainly a more uh, difficult opponent to play, and we're going to do that here this weekend. Since we played the University of New Hampshire, we played at UMass Amherst in an 8-2 to two victory, played Princeton at the Sanga Center with a 3-1 win. Are the things that we're missing in that UNH game, those areas that we needed to improve, are those things that we have seen improvement in the two games hence? Yeah, we have. You know, we, we've certainly strengthened a few parts of our game that needed to be uh, worked on. And I like the, the way we're playing in a lot of different areas. So uh, from the perspective of improving every single week, I do feel we're improving. And I say we have a little ways to go in a certain couple areas. And special teams are a big part of that. It's a big part of the, the game as a whole, but even more so for us. So we're going to look to strengthen those parts this weekend. As one gets ready for this weekend with the University of New Hampshire, and I know it's more about us than them, and, and maybe I you know, caught up too much in statistics, but I'm curious in your mind how important the first goal of a hockey game is, and is it more so this weekend? Well, you bring up an interesting point. I know statistics are very important to you, and it's, uh, it's great to emphasize the first goal, but then if you don't score it, uh, you, you certainly uh, have to dismiss it. And you know, hockey's a, a big mental game. You have to be strong mentally in order to succeed. And whether you score the first goal or not, you just have to keep playing. And I think we've done a good job of that this year. And if you look at the games we haven't scored the first goal, we have had success despite it. So you just have to play hockey and, and not worry about the little details because it's a 60-minute game and you have to play it that way. Maybe it's a little detail as well. Two different venues and two different uh, size sheets of ice. The Olympic sheet on Friday night, the NHL sheet on Saturday night. Uh, and maybe I make too much of that as well. Does the sheet make any difference? And I will, in asking the question, note that we've performed very well on the larger ice surfaces. Well, the sheet does make a difference, there's no question. When you talk about Olympic ice sheet, there's very few teams in our conference that have that type of sheet. And, um, you know, UMass Amherst isn't quite the international Olympic that the UNH is. Uh, having played an Olympic sheet for eight years at Colorado College, I, I can tell you it's an advantage if you're not playing on it uh, on a regular basis. And we're displaced here this week, practicing at the Tully for two days, which is even smaller than the NHL sheet. So it's a heck of a, a difference when you go back to the Olympic sheet from the Tully Forum. However, you know, both teams have to play on that sheet, so we have to make two, uh, adjustments to our game. And uh, we've played well in the Olympic sheet this year if you look at the two games we have played on it. Uh, I will note for fans, of course, the win at uh, Colorado College, uh, one of the men played on the largest sheet out at UMass Amherst, and both times we got terrific offense. You mentioned the Tully Forum, and the question occurs to me, you played, that was your home rink for your college career. Um, while it may not be the ideal place to practice in, that it's not that close to the university, is it for you a little bit of fun and some memories when you go back there? No question. I, I enjoy going back to the Tully Forum every once in a while for practice. Um, I don't enjoy it as much when you're going to Olympic sheet on a Friday. However, it is what it is. You know what? You play hockey where you can, and it was a very good home for us for many years uh, back when we played, and it brings back a lot of good memories. So I don't, uh, you know, I don't mind going back there to practice with our club uh, at any point. You mentioned we've made improvements in some areas, and I'm not going to guess which those areas are. Well, I am going to guess in one. Uh, against Princeton, all three goals that the Riverhawks scored were on the counterattack, coming off uh, transition in center ice, and in effect, all three goals coming off the rush. Those are things I think we've talked about in the past that you wanted to see improvement in. Did indeed those goals reflect improvement in those areas? Is that something you'd been looking for? Yeah, that's what I'm uh, 
one of the points of emphasis we stress here for the last couple of weeks, and another one was penalty kill. And if you uh, if you saw the game, we didn't give up anything in the penalty kill. And I thought we had moments where we could have transitioned and maybe got a shorthanded goal. And we got a shorthanded goal against Amherst. So I do think we're making steps in those areas, and you have to continue to do so because you are playing a high-powered offense, an offense that went to Colorado and was able to take three or four points. And they're going to you know, give us all we can handle. But uh, that's why you want to play good teams. You want to see where you're fair. You mentioned the penalty kill, and it certainly shut down Princeton uh, this past Saturday. Is the penalty kill about skill, or is it simply about hard work? Well, when you're getting clear, sometimes it is about skill, getting a handle on it, and, and making sure it's 200 feet uh, down the ice. However, a lot of it is will determination and uh, really just, uh, I guess, uh, the urgency at net front to clear pucks and make sure that you, uh, you deny the opposition any high percentage plays. This weekend against the University of New Hampshire, is there a key to the weekend or is it uh, unfair to ask for one thing? Well, there's more than, than one key. However, uh, you know, eliminating or, or halting their offense will be a big part of that. They're coming home after four games on the road. We do feel they're going to be uh, uh, sky high. They're going to want to go on offense every chance possible. And the more we can keep the game uh, contained, I guess, the better off we'll be. And uh, I look forward to a high, you know, a quick skating game. I look forward to a good transition game. But we're going to have to pick our spots to make high percentage plays out there. So it's going to be uh, uh, very important to us to be good on rush defense and to be good on transition ourselves. How important are the first 10 minutes on Friday night? This must be another statistical category <laughs> you, you monitor. However, uh, the first 10 minutes is important. The first goal is important. But it's not detrimental to the whole 60 to 65 that we're going to play. So we're, we're going to... Uh, we're going to certainly uh, pay attention to the whole game uh, as a whole and try to have a good 65-minute complete game. And, and the last thing I'll ask, I always hear the phrase about got to play good road hockey. Does one take a different approach Friday night because you're in their building than one would take on Saturday when we're in our building? Not really. I, I think it's important to stay disciplined whether you're playing on the road or home. I think you're talking about the two least penalized teams in our league. I doubt there's very many uh, uh, penalized calls. There hasn't been for, since we've played them in the last two years here. But you're seeing a lot of good hard hockey and a lot of good transition hockey. So if you want to come and see an entertaining hockey game with a lot of speed, I think you'll, uh, you'll be very well uh, entertained here come Friday and Saturday. And we remind people, Friday night up at the University of New Hampshire, I believe it's a 7.30 start, 7 o'clock Saturday night at the Songa Center. Uh, Norm, good luck to you and the Riverhawks, and thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Bob.